Hi, my lovely ladies. How are you? <laughs> okay, so I'm back. Officially, this is a video about Lyra's latest looks, but I'll be also talking about all kinds of other things. And I actually want to introduce a new series of like a tiny mini series of stuff that I want to talk about. So if you're interested in finding out what that is, keep on watching. So as you know, <laughs> the month of September is crazy. And I know that the Thursday's upload is usually not Leora's latest looks, but I just have to push stuff around and try to make things work. So for the whole month of September, everything will be a little bit off, but I still, I'll, I'm trying to give you two uploads per week still, even though it's a little bit crazy, but it's just the high holidays for the Jewish people. So. <laughs> Anyway, I quickly, before I get into all, all the other things, I wanted to share with you what happened when we had our Jewish New Year. We sat down for dinner after my husband and my oldest son came back from the synagogue. And, uh, you know, we did all the regular stuff, whatever we have to do. And then my husband said, okay, so now everybody be quiet and listen very, very well to what I'm going to say. And then he pulled off this huge thing about thanking me and that it's like it's not enough to just thank you every week once whatever it was amazing I was just I was sitting there at the table and my jaw dropped and I couldn't believe that he did that and then I thought that was it but it wasn't <laughs> and then and I have to show you this he gave me a trophy and he said this is like my personal Oscar <laughs> I'm the Oscar winner, and when I show you what that is, you're gonna flip. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> this is the tackiest, ugliest thing ever, but it is so cute. I mean, I would never buy something like this, but he did that because, you know. <laughs> anyway, so I got this to start the new year. This is my personal award for being I guess who I am so that is so sweet of him and I just couldn't believe it anyway so putting this aside and now I'll have to look at this for the rest of my life <laughs> so just before I start talking about all the other things I want to show you which colors I use today for my eye look because I'm still trying out my Violet Lovos, the rainbow palette, which is this one. And I just want to feature it because it is so beautiful and I love it so much and I enjoy it so much. These colors, I don't know. I just get up every morning and I just want to dig into those colors. And just believe me, these colors are amazing, as you can see on my face. <laughs> and I love this palette so so much the only thing is i wish there were a few match shades in like i you know what my perfect palette would be right now as of today if all of those shimmery shades would come in also mattes like in the same palette that would be so cool because the combination of mattes and shimmers in an eye look is just i find it so interesting and i have been getting into that a lot lately so I'm, I'm changing and evolving all the time but um, yeah so that's where I am right now so I used for today's eye look I used Fiji this one and I used violet and indigo so those are those shades and I also because I have no mattes in here I also used <laughs> this shade I will leave the um, the name in the description box because I cannot dig it out right now and the name of the shade is on the back of the pen and I also backed it up a little bit and also on the lower lash line I have this shade right here so if you're interested ah and this one also <laughs> okay so I've been all over the place I had a lot of fun and I actually did not want to film today but then I thought why not so here I am totally unprepared and i hope that's okay with you i just have to go with the flow and be spontaneous because it's just my life right now so before we go into Leora's latest looks i want to start talking about a subject that i've been getting asked a lot 
I don't know, is something wrong with my camera? It just keeps getting stuck. I see in the viewfinder that I'm constantly getting stuck. So I hope this video is even going to happen. I don't know. I hope so. Um, if not, it's going to be a miss. <laughs> so anyway, so I've been asked so many times about how did you do the transformation from being a person that wears black and dark and dull colors all the time to being such a peacock. <laughs> I've actually been called a peacock the other day by someone who tried to say something nice, but she didn't know how to put it in like which words to use. So I thought it was really sweet because I, I knew I know her and, and she doesn't mean it as an insult or anything. So that was sweet. Anyway, so I want to start talking about that topic a little bit and I probably have to do several videos on that one because I want to make a point of keeping my videos shorter. I'm trying, I'm really trying. And of course I want to also show you Leora's latest looks because I have so many outfits and looks backed up that I just have to get them out on the road. Anyway, so how did it all start? I I think I have to go back a little bit because um, I was not religious in the sense of being modest, whatever that d definition of modest is. Um, always. I started to be like that only when I was about 20, 21. And before that, you know, I was wearing tank tops, I was wearing hot pants, I was wearing whatever, you know, I really didn't care. But I did feel that my value as a woman was really diminished by what I was doing and or how I was dressing. I wanted to be sexy and I wanted to be seen and back then I was not really fat yet. If you don't know, I used to be really fat. Um, so I was sort of in between chunky, juicy, but, but not really fat. So I thought I still could pull it off even though if I look at pictures now, I totally cringe and think, Oh, how, how, where did I get the cords from? <laughs> anyway, so, um, so that's where I came from. When I started to become religious and sort of found my value in a lot of other things and started to uh, define myself on, on other things, um, I had a big, big need to feel like pro to protect myself and to save myself and to not be visible to everybody in the sense of being half naked. Of course I wanted to be seen but not in that way anymore because at the end of the day I knew that whoever was looking at me back then just saw a piece of meat. They didn't know what is behind that and they didn't care and I can't even judge them for that because that's what I put out there and that's really just a very personal feeling so if you feel differently that's you know it's your choice but I'm just talking about what I'm what I was feeling so when I made that transformation into being a modest person in the sense of how I was dressing it was long skirts very long skirts and usually these kinds of um, basic uh, tight fitting um, what's it called, shirts, and then something on top of that. So very, very basic, like you see something like probably 60-70% of the young women here in Israel. Um, yeah, so nothing special to report there. Usually I was wearing a black skirt or a, like a jeans skirt or something like that. And then some kind of unicolor top and, and that's it. And I was fine with that and actually I was a little bit I saw people who were in the di direction of where I am now and I always thought aren't they weird like on what kind of cloud are they walking have they lost touch to you know normal life <laughs> I think I was really really judgmental and I always thought that they must be on drugs or they must be I don't know it's, it was too weird for me I was just not there yet and um, I'm sorry that I was so judgmental but that's just you know you grow and and that's what happens in life right so and I don't know I'm, I, I totally don't think that I'm at the end of personal no, of my personal development I think there is still a long way ahead of me and I have nowhere and I have nowhere to go <laughs> No, 
I have no idea where this road is leading me, honestly. And I totally roll with that because I think it's very nice to not know if next year I'm going to be in a place where I'm wearing only green or only pink or whatever, you know. So only stripes. That would be cool. Stripes and polka dots. <laughs> So what happened then? I got married <laughs> and then, you know, we enjoyed our life as a young married couple. We went out to eat a lot and we both worked and we ate dinner very late. And <laughs> it was just, you know, I gained so fast after I got married, which I do think a lot of people can relate to that because it happens to so many people. And I always, before I got married, I, I said, this is not going to happen to you, but yeah, <laughs> it did. It did happen. And so basically, because I did not have a place to shop in my size, or I did have, but it was all just very dark and dull clothes. Um, and also because I had the need to sort of hide away in a black hole because I was so ashamed of myself. That's when I started to recede into this shade of dullness and um, and that was not a good place for me to be but I sort of made my peace with it for many years because I thought that's where I'm going to be now because from now on I'm going to be fat and I have no other choice um, and I sort of also brainwashed myself into thinking that there is nothing that can be done because that's what happens to people that's what happens to wives and that's what happens to mothers. You know, with every child they gain another 10 kilos and in my case it was more than that and they never lose it and they just add on with every pregnancy and and I thought, okay, so that's what it's going to be, that's what it's going to be. And basically the transformation, as I also touched on in my weight loss story, came when I started losing weight and I started to see what is out there and to actually fit into something that I could buy in a store, even though it was still extra, extra large, but at least I could find something. And I tried out some things and it was a very, very slow evolving thing that, um, that happened there. It just started with just a skirt uh, that was a little bit more colorful and super stretchy and, and still a very basic unicolor uh, tunic or something, something that made, you know, a more stretched look, um, not more stretched look, a more like a slimmer cut kind of thing that makes you look slimmer. What, what am I talking? <laughs> I don't know. The thing is, I always, during all that time, I loved pretty things. I loved pretty outfits. I loved to look at uh, pictures of models and I imagined myself being like that. <laughs> and um, I always thought, well, how would life be if you could be on that side of the camera, on this side of the camera, you know? I never wanted pictures to be taken of me. I always, I was always the one who took the pictures because I never wanted to be on that side of the camera and because I was so ashamed of myself. And, but still, I loved colorful outfits. It was just not for me. I was not in that place. I was too scared that I would draw attention to myself, not because I'm that kind of a modest person that I don't want that, but because I thought I couldn't pull it off. So basically, that's where I stood. And that's where I'm going to leave it for today, because I'm really taking this seriously and trying to keep the video shorter. So it makes it easier for you and it makes it easier for me to edit, especially now during September. Anyway, I will get back to that next time for Leora's latest looks and I'll continue the story. And um, I want to then, basically down the road, I want to share with you the whole thing, how I got discovered for modeling and um, everything. So, <laughs> so there we go. I hope you will enjoy Leora's latest looks that are coming right up. And I want to invite you to, as always, <laughs> subscribe and like and share and comment. And I really, really enjoy your comments and your support and your, it's just amazing. I love it. Thank you so, so much for all the regular ones who always, always comment on my videos. It's so sweet. And I already recognize your names and it's like 
you know, it's very sweet. Thank you so much. Yeah, and you can follow me, of course, on my other social media platforms, which you'll find in the description box. And I will also leave everything concerning my makeup for today. Not only those two palettes, but everything else I used. I will leave that in the description box. And this is it for today. Please make sure to come back on next Monday because next Monday I will have a wrapping tutorial and I will keep it very short, just a tutorial because that has been requested so much. And because it is in collaboration with Rapunzel, um, it just makes it so much easier for them to upload that video then also on their channel because, you know, it's, it's just uh, we have to be practical and we also want to serve everybody who just really comes and joins me for the tutorial. It's really hard to separate from my studio and from the camera. I seem like I really want to keep talking. <laughs> okay, but I'm, I'm wrapping it up now. Leora, wrap it up, really. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to let you go now. And <laughs> so if you want to give your husband or if you're a man, if you want to give your wife an award, find something that she loves and find some ugly little statue that corresponds with that and just give it to them because it's going to make her or him smile and <laughs> it's just cute. So let's be nice to each other. <laughs> and um, I'll see you on Monday, God willing. And I love you very much. Thank you for stopping by. And uh, enjoy the latest looks. I hope you do. And come back. Hugs and kisses. See you next time.